The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah. I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin after all. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. Uh, people who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. All right. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it! To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is in absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's going to get beat up by this fan a second time. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Into the tie-up they go, but who's going to end up with the upper hand? Look at a catch him off guard there, I guess. 
Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. This might be it! Oh, my! Spiked. Vicious strike. He's starting to feel it here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Here's a cover. And he gets the shoulder up. Going to take a whole lot more. Uh-oh. Oh, what a splash. He's not looking like himself here, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. off some of his speed there. Boom! Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Looks like he's starting to tire. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. Oh, man. His chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get... Oh, the DDT! You have to like his chances here. He's not done fighting yet. So resourceful. He's not looking good here. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. He's back in control here. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Close line! Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. What does Buzz have in store? Down with a power bomb. That might be enough. What a slam, Michael. Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. surprised if he had nothing left at this point. Let's remember though guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Things are looking dire for Buzz. Oh my. All but over. The damage has been done guys. I don't see how he can possibly recover from this beating he's taken. He's in tough shape guys and there's absolutely no room for error now. It might be cliche but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. He knows he's in trouble. Enemy hits this. The power bomb. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That should do it right there. One, two, three. Buzz with a W. Wow. Congratulations, Buzz. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. And this is how he ended it.
It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was going to expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown or Raw the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. Uh, <laughs> this has been an emotional night and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in, but if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, 
but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live. Unbelievable. Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know. That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're going to do great. Oh, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... What a missy, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know. It's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wow! wow, wow. wow. got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Oh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's US title. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. Listen, 
I've been reading this thing called the thesaurus, and I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. There are so many good gimmick ideas here. All right, listen to this. Cole Quinn Butt. My nickname is the Quintessential Rubicon. I don't even know what it means, but it sounds awesome. All right, hit me back up. Buzz, this is it. I've peaked. This is the best idea I've ever had. Rock and roll call. <laughs> and I already got my perm. Buzz, I got it. This is the one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Quinona Ryder. Eh? Eh? Nah, I'm just messing with you. That's terrible. No, the real idea is all I do is win Quinn. Now that's money. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Pigeonhole Cole. You can't put me in a box, because I'm already in it. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Got no self-control, Cole. I just ate like eight donuts. Uh, all right, Buzz. Uh, kind of at the end of my rope here. I I'm just gonna list off a bunch of ideas. Uh, what do I got here? Bankroll, Cole. I guess like a banker. I give loans. Uh, egg roll, Cole. I'm like a, a sushi chef of some kind. Ah, oh, man. Keyhole coal? I, I, I make keys. Loophole coal. I guess I'm like a lawyer, maybe. Parole coal? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm under house arrest at all times. Maybe I could have, like, a cop be my manager. Oh, boy. Buzz, good news. I got my mojo back, baby. This one's gonna be money, I guarantee it. Listen to this. Field goal coal. And he shoots! He scores! Right? Is that football? You don't think I'll actually have to play football, do you? Oh, man. Uh, uh, Alright, well, well, how about this one? Drum roll coal. Right? And I can come out and it's just a, a drum. And the whole crowd will. Oh, man. Uh, sinkhole coal? Because when you wrestle me, you'll. Sink. North Pole Cole. I guess I could be like an elf. Or something. Uh, what else do we got? <laughs> fishbowl Cole. I can wear a fishbowl on my head. That'll be really over. You're gonna love this one. I just got done spending hours on my computer spreading viral rumors about you. That's right, it's me, Internet Troll Cole. You mad, bro? <laughs> the kids are gonna love it. Memes! Buzz, Buzz, I, I, I can't talk for long. They're coming, and they're listening. Best gimmick idea yet. I've just been binging conspiracy documentaries. Get this. My new name. Grassy Knoll Cole. You'll want to believe. All right. Throw away this phone as soon as you get this voicemail. Bye. Buzz, I was just doing my laundry and I had to call you. I was watching the dryer go round and round, right? And the clothes spinning in the machine. And all of a sudden, it hit me. The best gimmick idea ever. The Cyclone. It's like Cyclone, but I put my name Cole in there. And I basically like spin around and like throw clotheslines at people. It's money, I'm telling you Buzz, I'm running with the next show. You're gonna be hearing a lot about the Cyclone later. Buzz, I was just watching NXT and then it hit me. The gimmick that's finally gonna get me to the top. Listen to this. 
Adam Cole's evil twin brother, Cole Adam. Well, well I guess technically if we're twin brothers, then we'd have to have the same last name, but uh, whatever, we can work out the kinks later. Listen, uh, if you have Mr. McMahon's email, could you shoot that to me? I really think this idea is money, bro. Okay, talk to you later. Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so sorry, okay? I, I panicked when you got the WWE offer and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish and I know I screwed up big time. I knew that weeks ago, but I was in too deep at that point. I thought about coming clean so many times, but the longer I waited, I knew the worse it would be, so I decided to do anything I could to keep us together. Look, take whatever time you need to cool down, and maybe we can meet up at some point and talk, okay? I'm sorry, Buzz. I really, truly am. I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? There shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. <laughs> Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm gonna finish what he started. I'm no stranger to Battle Royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 33. No one else stands a chance tonight. Yeah. Insulting the modern-day Maharaja is not the way you want to start your tenure on SmackDown Live. 